Your boy looking rough. Let me clean that up. Yeah. There we go. Much better. What's up, YouTube? I'm back again for another different version of the vlog. Um, today, I want to talk to y'all about life beyond D1. Now, most of y'all probably don't know, but I've spent almost the last two years of my life at D1, and it's actually funny how I ended up there. Um, I was actually working in sales. That's all I've ever worked in in my life. Um, I've been an athlete my whole life, and I've trained people on the side, but I never took a gig in training. And I happened to train one of D1's trainers. I helped him with his running technique, his squat form, and a couple other lifts. I used to see him in the gym working out, and he was doing some things pretty badly. I'm surprised he didn't hurt himself. But anyway, we started working out together. We became really good friends. And the guy actually went back to his boss and told his boss how great of a job I had done with him and how much I had helped him. So his boss wanted to meet me, which is uh, Tish. Uh, she's a great lady. She actually interviewed me with a couple of the owners. They loved my energy. They loved my charisma. And they gave me a job. Now, starting out, the crazy thing is, um, I was only the speed coach. I mean, I just did speed and agility, nothing else. And then they slowly worked me into working with the rookies. And I love my rookies. I know I love my rookies. I've done so much with them. And um, then, before you know it, I was teaching adult classes and working all day, every day. Now, I loved it. I really made a lot of connections. I've met uh, some wonderful parents. I've fallen in love with my kiddos. And I've even met a couple of mentors up there who have helped really remold my life. Um, but, you know, all good things come to an end. Um, I have felt it in my heart for about, probably about six or seven months. Um, that it was just time to move on. And you know, I don't want to sit here and play the blame game with D1 or anything like that, but a couple things happened that could have went a different way. They could have handled things a little bit better, and maybe I could have responded to them a little bit better. But it all just was, the way I look at it, I remember I was talking to um, someone, I can't remember who it was. Uh, it was one of my clients at D1. But they were telling me, they were like, they're like, Mike, you know, sometimes you don't want to leave a situation, even though you know you should, and God would do something that will force you to leave because you'll end up being stuck here and missing out on your future blessings. And that really sat with me. And um, after I heard that, I just knew it was time. And uh, the way that our relationship ended wasn't the best way, but it could have been a lot worse. So I have no regrets. Um, I wanted to make this video a couple of weeks ago because um, I've actually been gone from them now for about three weeks. But you know, I just had to give myself time to settle down and, and regather myself because I had spent so much time at D1 and it was affecting my YouTube honestly because this is what I love to do. I like to put these videos out for y'all and for myself and now that I have the time I want to get back to it you know because now I can focus more on my vlogs. I can focus more on my reviews. I do have a movie review channel for y'all who don't know. Mike Proc, look it up. And uh, I can just focus on my fitness, you know. Um, I'm out here training all these people, doing all this great stuff for people, making all these wonderful connections, but then I let myself go. You know, I've uh, put on more weight than I've ever had. Well, take that back. When I broke my foot, I was the heaviest I'd ever been. I think I was 203 pounds. I'm like 194 now. Um, so now I get to focus on really dropping back down and getting in shape. If I'm going to be coaching these kids, trying to change their life. I always said I didn't want a trainer who didn't at least look like something like I wanted to look like or they would have to have the knowledge meaning if you don't have a body that I find desirable like if I, if I can't look at you and like man that guy is really fit then I don't think you should be training but with that being said you can have a fit guy who doesn't know anything about what he's talking about so if you're gonna be an out of shape guy you know an everyday looking guy you need to at least have like you know I walk in your office you got couple of degrees, three, four certifications, because then I know that you're applying, that you have the knowledge, you're just not applying it. And a lot of people disagree with me on that point, but here's how I look at it. How many football coaches do you see who are just really fit and ripped? 
how many football coaches do you see playing football? I mean, it's just, you know, those guys, they have the knowledge and they're just sharing the knowledge. But anyway, so, you know, um, it's on to a new chapter for me. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. When I left D1 at first, I had some anger, of course, because I said it didn't end the way I wanted it to end. But now, I'm actually very excited. I feel like a, a huge weight has been lifted off my back. And I still have those great connections with my people. Yes, I miss coaching some of the people, but I was just truly unhappy with the people that I worked under. So, um, it's a good thing that it happened. And now, like I said, I can focus more on me and YouTube and my personal fitness. So, I'm excited about that. And um, I'll never uh, forget the people that uh, I touched or who touched me while I was up there. I hope I can maintain those relationships. I still plan on going to my kiddos' games. Uh, any athlete that I train, if they send me their schedule, I'll be in the stands cheering for them. And any of my clients who call me and say, hey, let's go have lunch or hey, you know, let's go out and have a beer. I'm down for that too. So I'm extremely grateful for what D1 has allowed me to uh, do and the people I've been uh, blessed with meeting. And I'm glad that the page is turning in my life to the next chapter and I'm excited to see where it goes. But I do know this, y'all will be seeing a lot more of me now and I'm excited about that. So let's see where the journey goes from here. So Sticks, yeah. why should we hug Stingrays? Because they're soft. She said the Stingray was trained and it knew its own name. Yeah. 